believe was the dark result of Reich discovering something that could completely change our understanding of health and disease. Join the universe inside you. Create a new reality as we go deeper into understanding Wilhelm Reich's simple technology for cultivating orgone energy. If you research the name Wilhelm Reich, you'll find more accusation of fraud than appreciation. While there's no question that he pushed against the grain with his controversial ideas, early on, Reich earned great respect as he paved his way through the field of mental and physical health. Wilhelm Reich was born in 1897 in Austria and became a very well-educated, prominent psychoanalyst in Vienna. He traveled to numerous countries for his life work and wrote several influential books. Like his predecessor, Sigmund Freud, he became fascinated with the libido, which is the energy of the sexual drive as a component of life instinct. When he was 30, Reich witnessed a violent revolt in Vienna that left many innocent people dead. It became a game changer for him as he expressed disgust with what he called the social noxiousness of views and institutions. He observed that psychic illness was linked to the irrationalism of social and political mores, adding that love, work, and knowledge should govern our lives, not dogmas. Reich believed neurosis was rooted in sexual and socioeconomic repression. He observed that health and pleasure are the movement of biological energy towards the periphery of an organism, while anxiety is the retraction of this energy towards our center. He sought to treat neurosis by reversing the flow of energy outward, including by means of healthy sexual release. Because he promoted the availability of contraceptives and, when necessary, divorce, he was later credited with originating the sexual revolution of that era, the title of a book he published in 1936. In order to escape persecution by the Nazis, Reich immigrated to the U.S. in 1939 with hopes of fulfilling his own American dream. Sadly, this notable immigrant experienced an American nightmare. Though his work had always been held in high esteem, he was sadistically, professionally destroyed, just as he attempted to share new healing methods with the world. What happened? Could he have really just cracked? Or might his ideas have presented a threat to the existing medical industry? Dissatisfied with the headiness and what he called contrived foothold of scientific theories, Reich chose to focus on the biophysical aspects of psychological conditions. Through his research, he discovered that people with unresolved negative emotions would hold more rigidity in their muscles, blocking the natural flow of energy through the body. He referred to this tension as muscular armor and noted that firm pressure of his thumb or deep massage into a... So it turns out that Emrakul's... 